But we're going to be hearing from some young people now who have been doing some awesome stuff in our county. Um, now, the first one is the BFI Academy, if you haven't heard of it before, the British Film Institute. And they run a course that aims to give young people aged 16 to 19 the chance to get a real flavour of the film world on all sides of the camera. Now, they managed to make this course work as well during a pandemic, which I think... I just think everyone doing cool stuff right now deserves massive round of applause because it's it's very difficult and it's hard to keep up motivation and do things through Zoom and stuff as well. But the Academy course delivered by Creative Nation offers training for every film industry role from writing and directing through to production, sound design, editing and camera and provides learning around film history and cinematic storytelling to inspire, inspire an appreciation of film culture in the round in the in the world a new a new course is due to start in february half term and the team still have places so we thought it would be great to hear from some of the young people who have completed the course already to hear about their experiences now cad caught up with sam lola and grace to hear all about it At the time of signing up for the course, I was a bit unsure about the sort of career I wanted to go into. I knew that I wanted to do something in film and my teacher sort of promoted it to me. And yeah, I just sort of jumped the gun then and went, OK, I'm going to do it. Me and one of my friends went to go and do the course together. It was a lot of fun. Had you had much experience before going along? So I had a little bit of experience because I'd been doing um, a film and TV course at my college. So I'd been doing that for like a year already, but not quite as intensive as the course was going to be. And I didn't meet people who'd actually been in the industry. Tell me a bit about what you did during the course. So there were like five days of just intensive filmmaking. I think it started off where we we learned about the pre-production, how a story is created, what different genres of films you can make, loads of different mediums. And then throughout the week, we got into the the production process where we were then making the film. That was probably the funnest part because we were running around odd locations, getting clips and stuff for our film. And then the final week was post-production. That was a very rush week where we were like panicking because the edit needed to be finished before this big sort of like viewing night where all of our parents and family friends all came and watched our films. And it was a lot of fun to just have that moment of adrenaline before, you know, presenting this piece of work to all of these people. The red carpet moment for you, yeah, Sam. Yeah, it really <laughs> did feel like it, yeah. So I guess during the course as well, you got exposed to films, maybe a different type of film that you hadn't seen before and different genre as well. Yeah, there were so many people there that like had different experiences and different films that had like made them passionate about film. I felt very like a fish out of water because I'm a type of person that was watching all the blockbuster movies but didn't really have much of a deep knowledge Mm. of films that you're meant to watch. Like I'd never watched The Godfather or Karate Kid or any of these really like well-known films at the time. So I was getting loads of suggestions from people of like films to watch and that sort of changed my whole perspective of films in general and how much they affect people and how they affect people differently. Well, actually, it's really good to hear that. I think for some people, they may have that same intimidation. Yeah, exactly. But I think that's one of the things people go there for. It's like, you don't have to know anything about films. I sort of did. I knew a lot about production and all of those parts because I had that at college. But I was meeting people that just were really interested in making films but hadn't had the resources to do so. I was meeting people that knew too much about films and could (laughs) quote every movie out there. So it was just this mix of people with different experiences and you never feel like intimidated by anyone because it was just a great way of sharing your different skills. So around the age of 10, 11, 12, I'd started to make films and, you know, using my mum's iPhone and my own camera. And it was something that I'd shown an interest in from quite an early age, really. I used to make films with my friends, uh, which we still have. And so that really started my interest in that kind of creativity and the industry in general. But I hadn't had any formal training. I didn't do it in school. 
school. I'm doing A-level media at the moment. And so there is a small part of production in that for the coursework. But obviously that hasn't been uh, completely brought forward due to the disruptions at the moment. Do you feel like your experience now on that course that you had has, has kind of teased you into pursuing that as a career? I would definitely say that it opened my eyes to a lot of positive aspects about it, you know, um, to have other people's advice and to be around other people that are also interested in it was a very pos- positive experience for me because I was able to build on my own ideas. And I think as well, learning about the experiences of the programme directors kind of made me think, wow, this isn't just, you know, purely filming and editing and putting a film out there. There's so much detail of the process and you have to get knowledge and experience in every single sector. Have you stayed in contact with those people that you met during the course? Yes, 100%. Uh, One of my close friends now, who I met on the course, he is now working for a film company and we've kept talking about sort of experiences that we've got from the course because that acted like a trampoline for the both of us and now we just go hey what cool thing have you done you've definitely got an infectious enthusiasm sam your film was about a an endless work corridor i'm not sure what that means <laughs> yeah. but can yeah. you explain uh, that was, i remember us sort of sitting down and we were like what is something we can all relate to because at the time we were struggling for an idea of what sort of film we wanted to create so we were like what can we all relate to what's something that everybody experiences that we can put into a film so we thought mundane repetitive tasks <laughs> we, we started with that and i was i was talking about how in one of my jobs i pack boxes but it's just the repeated process of making the boxes that sort of started the cycle of okay what if we just have a, an endless corridor that is essentially like a metaphor of endlessness and not being able to escape i think many people can relate to that it's it's scarily like (laughs) true in some in some aspects i sort of look at it now because i've done so many like better experiences through trampolining off of that high i look back at it now and i'm like oh yeah we did that Oh, well, we've, we've all have to start somewhere, I guess. If you're looking back at your work and reflecting, it means you've definitely improved. You're 19 now. What's What does life look like now? What are you up to? Well, COVID sort of put a spanner in the works a little bit. <laughs> so my main thing that I got from the course straight away was that it got me onto my level four course, which was a creative enterprise course. So it's learning about businesses and creative businesses and how that works in the economy. And through that, I had to get certain work experiences to kind of get out there. These work experience opportunities were made easier because I already done the BFI Film Academy. So it was just like people, instead of me going, hey, can I please have a job? They were like, we want you to do this job. It was quite great and then i think a couple of months ago i got the absolute lifetime opportunity of being offered a job at leavesden studios in london okay tell me more so i I got one of my contacts from the bfi film academy tell me that there were job opportunities as trainees for uh warner brothers wow so i was um i was really excited by this so i sent in an application and stuff a couple days later i got a phone call saying hey you know, we're reading your CV, stuff like that. And then it was all going ahead, really going. And I was getting really excited. I'd be working in London, but then COVID came along and made things a bit more difficult. It's been such a horrible time because it's kind of knocked everybody and all their plans. So what's going to happen? I personally think that it's just given me more time to sort of be more creative. In a really odd way, it's allowed inspiration because people didn't have the time before to Mm. think about storytelling as much where I've been able in this like lockdown period to just absorb different kinds of media take it all in and one of my pieces of advice that I got from one of the people at the BFI Academy was just to absorb everything everything has a story in it Grace, you completed the BFI Film Academy course that we've been hearing about, but you did it online. Tell me about how you got involved in the course. I got involved through my sixth form, actually. One of my teachers sort of mentioned it and put it on our teams, and I looked at it and I was like, oh, that looks quite interesting. I might as well 
send in an application and see if I get in. That was amazingly challenging for all of us at the time. Obviously, we're all we're all on our screens like way too much. It was good that you could take part in the course, but how how was that experience being with a group? But effectively, you're still in your room. How, how was that for you? It was definitely different, and there were some points which were a bit challenging. I think it probably took me longer than it would have done in person to warm up to the people in my group. But actually, in some ways, it's almost nicer because the relationship I have with these people that I've met is now completely almost online, but it feels like we, I've made some really lovely friends. It's a really nice, almost different way to meet people, but it almost feels like it's closed a bridge that I haven't had before in my life. So you've had that opportunity now. Where do you think the next two years um, are going to take you? Well, obviously, it's a little bit odd at the moment, so I'm not really too sure with my exact plans, but I'd love to go and travel the world a bit, obviously doing a bit of cinematography with that as well. It sounded really interesting, the project that you made during the course. It was around loneliness, the themes of loneliness and Shakespeare, is that right? Yeah, our film was, it was a mixture of lots of different things. So yeah, they were the main themes we were sort of going for. Obviously, everyone that was on this course has very personal connections to the art industry and media in general. And we know that COVID's been really hard hitting for everyone in this industry. And we also know that people have been really struggling. So we wanted to go down the idea of how loneliness affects someone whose whole career is based around the idea of being with other people and how that really affects your mental health and actually how we included the loss of a child just to really try and make it hit home a little bit more for everyone else. It was more about the idea of how even though you can look like a really outgoing person within your industry, it doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to be able to cope better than anyone else within a situation that is so unprecedented. If you're thinking about it right now, you're sitting there sort of unsure whether you should go and do it. I don't think you should be unsure. Just take it. Even if you, you're not looking for experience in film, it gives you life experience and everyone needs a bit of life experience. Just meeting people, networking. It's just a great opportunity for anyone to take. 